Hello friends, I have a quick video for you today answering a question that I get often. What camera straps do I use? I've got them all right here. <laughs> so for years I just used camera straps that came with my cameras and really I didn't find anything wrong with them. I was comfortable using them. But then I discovered these. These are the Peak Design straps. They are easy to take on and off your camera using the dongles that you connect to your camera and they clip right into the straps. There are different straps. We have almost all of them and I use each of them kind of for different purposes. Before we get there, members don't miss the member exclusive video this week. I was in the field doing a couple of time lapses, waiting for wildlife to wander up so I could use this telephoto lens, and also updating you on my next long form course, which is all about landscape photography. I will link to the video in the description. If you're not a member but are interested in the long form courses, the behind the scenes videos, the ebooks, and the members only email address, you can learn more about channel membership by clicking the join button or the link in the description. Okay, back to the straps. We have the wrist strap. This one is Raymond's favorite. <laughs> he actually ends up taking the dongle off of one side of the camera when he uses it. Drives me nuts. However, it's nice that we can change straps quickly because he likes to uh, use a different strap than I do. Speaking of this little camera, I like to use the thin strap. It's called the leash and it's just thin and easy. And I like it for my little cameras like this. For larger cameras, I have a couple of larger straps. I have the biggest and the medium size strap. Now, these are a little bit different than the other ones because these have a side that has some sticky material on it so that if my camera is on my shoulder and I'm carrying a bunch of other things like my backpack and my camera strap slides off my shoulder, I can flip it over to the sticky side and it helps stick to me a little bit better so my camera doesn't slide around. So I like all my straps. It's convenient for, it's convenient for when I want to take the strap off to pack the camera away. It's convenient for when I'm doing a time lapse so I don't have a strap blowing in the wind and potentially shaking my camera. Uh, same goes for video and it's helpful when I want to display my cameras on my shelf. They look a little bit nicer without the strap wrapped around behind them. Plus Raymond and I don't have to fight over which strap goes on which camera because we have all the straps. So that's it everybody. I will include links to all of those straps in the description below so that you can check those out. Those are Amazon links so thank you to those of you that use those links in case you don't know what an Amazon affiliate link is. Uh, you get the same price but I get a little tiny percentage of your purchase really no matter what you purchase when you use those links to get to Amazon. Uh, anything that you purchase during that trip to Amazon virtually <laughs> is helpful for the channel and it keeps me up and running. So thanks to those of you that use those links and thank you for watching this video.